Hey guys, I'm here with The Lord of the Rings, The Minds of Moria, and I've um, been away for about a week now, and I'm getting back into doing a review, so I thought I'd start with my biggest uh, Lord of the Rings set on hand. Just have it, uh, been having it uh, built, I had it built for a while, just waiting to review it, and had some time at home, it's nice and bright, so I thought I'd film it. Uh, this is the details. It's 914-9473 and the Mines of Moria and it's 776 pieces. Really cool box art. Mine's kind of messed up. It's a little bit smashed. But it's still really cool. These are the minifigures included. And give you a shot of the back. A lot of weapons with this, and just some nice shots of it, and big sh shots of the cave troll. And that's about it. You get two building manuals. The first one you just build uh, the door and these two things, and the second one you build this. So here are the main figures. Start with the cave troll. Nice big blue cave troll. You can see his details um, really nicely on his face. Really good paint. Really fine lines on his fa uh, face for the really good detail. If you turn him to the side you can see uh, paint on his arms and back. Speckleds and the articulation of a troll is only his arms. So his legs are fixed and his arms do this. Oh, excuse me, his <clears throat> other articulation, his hands twist. But <clears throat> yes, so the articulation of the troll is arms and wrists. Here's the aerial view of the troll's back. He's hunched forward. Reminds me of the Hulk kind of. And other big minifigures we've gotten. Nice lines, big muscular back, um, side view. And he has two studs up here, ones which are connected to a chain. And his feet are like painted where the nails go. He's got a big giant club which you build, which is really cool. Solid club. It comes together nicely. It goes right there in each any of his hands. So that's the cake troll. And these are the Moria Orcs. You get a couple of them. They are um, an olive looking green. And they are just stunning. Really, really detailed minifigures. Uh, really good uh, looking compared to the movie Orcs. Uh, this one's holding a silver mace. If you remove his hair piece, you see his ears are part of the hair. He has torso printing and he has an alternate face which is this. And back printing. Believe it or not, the faces are different. This one's more content, I would say. The other one's upset. Next orc, this one's bearing a shield and a sword. It's a pretty cool shield. See there? <clears throat> it's got a notch out of it. It's the first time I ever saw one of these. It looks like he holds it like this is the right setup. 
very same orc and double sided head on that one as well and this is the dwarf I believe his name is Jimly uh, it may be Gimli I don't know I've seen the movies several times and I know I need to see him again thoroughly uh, for a refresher but yeah the dwarf he's very humorous in the movie and he's funny and he looks great it's a really uh, awesome depiction of him his helmet is so detailed it came in a little separate bag Let's see if I can get a good shot of it he has a lot of paint on it like uh, detailing within the there we go symbols on it. It really looks like a tooled helmet, you know. He has a battle axe and a shorter battle axe. And there is his beard with the two like braids coming from the mustache area. You turn him around, comes down to a back braid. And I'm going to remove his beard in order to show his face more clearly in his opposite face. Okay, this is his head. Angry side of the dwarf, Jimly. And this here is his regular face. Kind of stern, serious. If you want to see his torso printing, it's here. This is all hidden by his beard, so you have it. If you don't have it, this is how you'd see it. Okay, hope you got a good shot of that. And of course, she's got the dwarf legs, which are dark brown dwarf pants. Short legs that don't bend. And his really awesome beard. Hair and beard. So, <clears throat> there is the Dwarf Jimly. Next is Boromir. And he is really cool. He is a human. And this comes with the round shield. You see the detail here. A cool uh, long sword. A brown cape. And really amazing torso printing. His clothing is nice. Buckles and straps. He's got a red head, red beard on, red facial hair. And his opposite face is here. It's more angry. And I'll rotate his cape to see his back printing. Simple back lines, but it's still printing. So that, there we have Bormir, and here we have Regolis, and he is the elf, and he is Orlando Bloom in the movie. He's got a bow, and his hair piece is like the orcs, where he's his ears are connected to the hair. Really detailed hair piece. See the individual strands, and he's got braids. Okay.
Here's his torso. And back printing. <clears throat> I'd say he's my favorite in the set. And probably my favorite in the fellowship. Next is Pippin. And I'm happy to get uh, Pippin. He's pretty cool in the movie. Him and his... I don't know if they're brothers, I can't remember, but him and Mary are very cool. Uh, brave. Uh, the, he's got the cool Hobbit hair. That's slightly different color than Frodo's and uh, Sam's, but I think it's the same style. I don't have the other ones in front of me. Uh, here's his clothing. It's like just Hobbit, Hobbit type clothing and his scared face. And his blue shirt. And I think he bravely fights. I can't remember, I get confused. But that lady allows him to fight. She takes him out. I need to see the uh, trilogy again, like I already said. But those are the, let's see here, seven minifigures you get with this set. <clears throat> and the minifigures really just make this worth it to be a Lord of the Rings fan and have these sets is, uh, really, it's got no price on it to me. Uh, you get a book, and the detailing on this book really looks good. And if you're wondering if it's printed, it's not. It's a sticker. Actually, two. And as you know, with Lego books, you can open them. They show it just kind of uh, leaned up against... There's a sarcophagus, like, leaned up like this. It comes with an array of scattered weapons once in the mine. These are pictured on, on the ground. Uh, you got a battle axe here. Any one of the minifigures can pick it up. Really cool, detailed little weapons you get with this. And you don't break these off of the wheel or anything. Like the tools, they came like this, separate already. This is a hook, which could be very useful against another minifigure. This is a, you know, it looks like a scepter or something. It looks like it's a, yeah, a sorcerer type thing. This is a bow with the arrow ready to go. You get two of these uh, daggers. You carry them at once. And then a longer sword, which is really nice also. Very nice. So all those come in this set, and they're shown like this, and the instructions just like around to pick up, I guess. So I've gone over those. You get this sarcophagus, might as well go over it now. We're built really well above ground coffin you could call it. It's like made of stone. It's got really cool um I don't know if those are runes or what what those are language up there. The sarcophagus has a feature. It has a popped out lever there. And I found you've got to kind of like, you know, come with a striking tap to make this move like it's shown in the instructions. So I'm gonna give it a tap now. There we go. And it slid off. Do it too soft, they won't move. It's a skeleton. Now, I forget who the skeleton is, but here it is. Its arms are the dangly type. And it's hidden in there. Which is cool. Yet another skeleton here. And I believe this is like a well or something. And. I think I've got it set up right. It's you come. It may be guarding a a gold chunk that's here on the side or something. 
like it's posted. And when you slide this forward, he's supposed to slide in there and like the skeleton goes in there and gets trapped, I guess. He can go in his ball. But this is him. Uh, you get a chain that goes around him here with a bucket and he you when it's closed you set him here put this around him and set this little pail on the edge and then when you move pull it you'll fall in down in here so really cool you get a golden nugget here this golden nugget is just shown here but you can it's shown here okay the entrance is really grand into the mine. It's over here. I'll pull it closer. You can see it says something up here above the door. And from the inside, which is here, the doors have a massive like slots here where you can put a massive uh supposed to be a really big, you know, heavy axe. To strengthen the doors to keep them shut. So you move that. And it's nice like copper looking shiny copper blade. And you push from behind or pull from here. You can enter into the mine through these big giant wooden doors. Which are really really cool looking uh, from Lego. These are stickers yes. All the wood lines are stickers. Uh, here to the left is a spear and there's a torch and around here is quite a few of these gray pre uh, you know they look like little bricks uh, they're detailed bricks bricks uh, they used to be new now they're quite common if you turn it around this is what it looks like from the outside the doors don't look as good but the outside does like looks like a fortress entrance <clears throat> a feature here uh, you have a lever here you can do that and it shut this off and I guess that's either a trap or you can breach them through there once you pop it off so really cool a uh, lot of stone detail you can tell it's real solid fortified entrance and really really grand this is the other part of the mine <clears throat> here's the other part of the mine um, here you have a skeleton head a torch and a lot of brick detail is stickers you have a book here with uh, no printing on it and no sticker nothing inside of it a couple crystals one here and one there now I don't know if that one that one moved at all Let's have to focus this one just a couple of clear gems and there's a barrel here with a pickaxe to dig stuff out in the mine uh, there's a loose bone here and just a lot of stone detail if you there are booby traps to attack the troll the troll is coming in and trying to get you guys you would hit the trap which is back here it's a lever let me press it and then these things the pillars which are quite sturdy solidly built more detailed bricks you place them here and the same goes for this one if you want to topple the troll, you just... And you see that this came forward. These are identical. Go here on the set. It's part of the mine booby traps. And there is another cool hidden feature of this. And it is here. You slide this. There's a lever in the back. I'll show it to you. you slide it forward. And out comes the chest. And within this chest is a bunch of good stuff. So, done.
jump it out for you to see. Okay, we've got another golden cluster, uh, golden nugget cluster, which these ones stood on. It's not like those that are just like the gems, which I don't like that. Uh, so you get two of those gold pieces. You get one of these neon gems. It's like radioactive, it looks like. And a third crystal. So you get a total of three clear ones, a neon, and two gold nuggets. And then that close clasps. That studs on here. And then it can be drawn back. Oops. You had show you the back so you can see the levers. Okay, these are what you tap down to release the pillars that are the booby traps. And this is the lever which, where you pull and push back the treasure chest. So, really, really nice set. It's the biggest set I've opened so far. Of, biggest set of Open the Lord of the Rings. And I hope you've enjoyed my review of it. Uh, I went over uh, every detail that I could remember and thought of. So, hope you thought it was thorough. I, like I said earlier, I highly recommend this set because the minifigures are just really spectacular. Vibrantly colored as I look through uh, my camera, it's just the minifigures are so well done. And when you put them all together, you just think, well, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you just think, I can't believe I have, can't believe I have all these characters in Lego form, uh, minifigure form, finally.